A very happy Christmas to you. What a lovely time of the year it is. Mm. And we've uh, mentioned to some of our friends that we'd like just a word today. So we're going to give you just one or two thoughts. And we're starting with Shane and our workshop. Particular favourite verse of mine is Isaiah 9 verse 6. It tells us that Jesus is given to us as Saviour. He's Lord and has authority over all and also shares with us some uh, particularly lovely aspects of God's character and nature. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. As much as I love Christmas, I love the glitz, I love all the, the colours and the lights. And I love the baby in the manger, but so many people, that's all they see is the baby in the manger. They don't see what Jesus is to become, a wonderful counsellor, a mighty God, King of kings and Lord of lords. And that opens my eyes, that scripture, to exactly who Jesus is. I love singing in the band, but I love singing carols as well in church. And one of my favourites is Silent Night, when we think about the time when Jesus was born. And it just speaks to me so much of how he came so silently into the world with nothing and his mum and dad were just there and it was just so lovely and but he came to be saviour of the world marvellous comes home to me the vulnerability of jesus to put himself um in the body of a baby to be looked after by earthly parents while he was here um i just think it's amazing and they call him emmanuel which means god with us and that is such a striking thing that god is with us and that there's a plan for our lives, and that we are not in a godless place, but in a place filled with God, with a hope of eternal life. The Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. We have seen His glory, the glory of the one and only who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. The most powerful words that we receive his love, his mercy, transforming our lives, my life especially. Thank you, Lord. Oh, great to hear those. So as we celebrate Christmas, remembering that Jesus Christ came in the flesh, but he came to die and he rose again. So the whole story of Jesus Christ, our Saviour, is amazing. And how many people just don't know? So... I'd encourage you to share the gospel because we are in end times. And one of the things that I've done is to get these um, gospels, it's just John's gospel, but it has a salvation prayer in as well. And I try to never go out without two or three of these in my pocket just to share the love of God. And people are so open with the turmoil in the world this day and the uncertainty that there is at the present time and all the lies People are open to the truth of the gospel and they come from the Pocket Testament League which was actually started by Cadbury's The Chocolate People in Birmingham. Yes. You'll need to go to the website to find out more and that of course is ptluk.org. David gives out so many as we go around places and of course we look to God for the fruit and his word doesn't return to him void. Let's take every opportunity we can to share the love of Jesus with people this Christmas time. It's a brilliant time for reaching out to others. So as we celebrate Christmas, let's remember that as well as his first coming, which was foretold all through scripture, we're now looking forward to his second coming, which may be soon. So be ready. Remember, the word says, be alert. We need to be like the wise virgins waiting for Jesus' return. God bless you. Have a wonderful Christmas time. Yes, happy Christmas.